There are a vast array of seabirds that live in New Zealand, and the variable oyster catcher is among them. With a dark black plumage and a red bill, they are very distinct and unique looking. With the introduction out of the way, let's get into this. I hope you enjoy. Fairly stocky in appearance, variable oyster catchers are found all around much of New Zealand, with them often being seen in pairs prowling for shellfish along beaches or estuaries. Birds of the species can be confused with other species of oyster catcher due to their similar appearances, with pied morphs of the birds often being viewed as South Island pied oyster catchers due to their almost identical looks. The existence of these different colour morphs caused early confusion in identification, with many colour morphs being variously attributed to be either different species, forms, or hybrids. It is now known that the colour morphs of the variable oyster catcher interbreed freely, and are now all accepted as belonging to a single species. Birds are found across much of the coastline of the North, South and Stewart Islands, with strongholds across the country, including Northland and the Bay of Plenty. These birds reached a low of around 1,000 to 1,500 birds as they were shot for food, before eventually being protected in 1922. The birds' population has since increased rapidly, and as of the mid-1990s they number around 4,000. There, there has been no recent nationwide surveys, but if the increase has continued in the same rate since the 70s, when the population was around 2,000, then the total population nowadays would probably be around 5,000 to 6,000 birds. On the Northland East Coast and on the Coromandel Peninsula, the increase appears to be slowing, possibly as these areas approach their maximum carrying capacity. Adult birds, from what we know, have very high annual survival rates, and some birds have been found reaching 30 plus years in age. Because of their population's current stability, no specific conservation measures are undertaken specifically for them, although some birds on the east coast of the North Island benefit from protection programs for New Zealand dotrels and fairy terns. During the breeding season, variable oyster catchers become increasingly territorial in defending their chicks, even after fledging, even aggressively attacking people who come close to nests and chicks, with birds having been reported to dive bomb and screech. They also undertake distraction displays on the ground in the defence of their eggs and chicks. I actually have a story of me having a first-hand encounter with their close relative, the pied oyster catcher, but that's a story for that video, whenever that comes out. Unlike most shorebirds, variable oyster catchers feed their young, with small chicks often remaining hidden under vegetation or rocks, with parents bringing them food. This hypothetically reduces the risk of protection by gulls and harriers, which threaten the bird's survival at this young age. Thank you for watching this instalment in New Zealand Bird of the Week. I hope you enjoyed it. The variable oyster catcher finally got its chance to shine, and even though it won through a tie with the molly mork, I'm glad I could talk about a member of these cool group of birds. For next week, you now have the opportunity to vote for the marsh crake, a very cool wading bird. Anyways, I will see you next time, whenever that may be. Until then, see you later.